Hey everybody, this is Michelle Baker, and this is going to be a quick tutorial showing you how to use an Adobe Photoshop mock-up file to show off your repeat patterns that we have made in Adobe Illustrator. So this is just a really quick pattern that I made to show you this example. So I'm in the Adobe Photoshop software, and the first thing that I want to do is find my layers panel. This is the panel that you can find under, first you, you click in Adobe Photoshop and I'm gonna X out of the panel to show you where to find it. Okay, so you can go up to your menu bar and click on the word window and go down to layers. And when you click on layers, it should pop up. Now these are all the layers that this designer has made that you can change and edit within the file. And so for this bedding, I'm looking for the name of something that might be bedding. So they've got a duvet. Um, they've got duvet back. So this is the back of the duvet cover. So I want to start with this one first and just see what it does. So I'm going to click on the eyeball and you can see that it turns the whole thing gray. So if you want to put your pattern right there and see it, um, you can click on this small thumbnail, smart object thumbnail and then grab your pattern and paste it in there. So let's go revisit Adobe Illustrator real quick to take a look at the pattern that I've created. Okay, so this is my pattern right here and I put a clipping mask on top of it, which I've showed you how to do in previous videos. And I'm just taking a look at my pattern to see what it looks like when it's bigger. And so I can keep copying and pasting to see if I like it um, when it's bigger and see if there's any you know weird little patterns that show up um, that I don't like when I see it you know out bigger. Okay, so everything looks pretty good. It's, this one can be moved up just a little bit to join the other one, but yeah, everything looks pretty good. So um, I don't necessarily need these. So I'll get rid of them. Um, and so for this, I'm just going to put, um, I'm going to export it. I can do a couple of things. I can export it as a PNG and put the, the photo file in a, Adobe Photoshop, or I can actually put the pattern. Um, I can cut and paste the pattern in the Adobe Photoshop file um, as smart object. So I'm going to try using just a PNG, just a photo. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, export this as a photo. So I'm going to file, export as, and I am going to say bedding pattern gray. Use artboard, export. So this is telling me that it's 300 pixels. And this is showing me what I have to export. And I'm just gonna click okay. So I saved it as a PNG, which is it's like a JPEG, but um, it has a little bit less pixels. And so it's quicker to use sometimes on social media. Um, so if I go back to Photoshop, I go to find the layer that I want to put my pattern on. So the pattern I have on here right now is a white background with the gray line leaves. And I'm going to put this new one that I just did. Um, so this is the pattern that I have, the existing pattern. And I take the eyeball off and it just turns white. And this is the polka dot pattern that I had also mocked up on the bed. And I can take the eyeball off. And now what I want to do is I want to drop in my pattern that I just um, created with the gray background. So I'm going to go into my files to our class. And here it is, bedding pattern mocked up or bedding pattern gray. That's the one I want to use. So I'm just going to hit uh, command C to copy and come back over here to this layer and hit command V to paste. And there's my pattern. I'm going to enlarge it a little bit. So you don't have to hit shift. You just come over here to one of the corners and just stretch it out to fit um, the whole board. 
and that way it'll look nice on the bedding. And if you have to stretch it past the board, that's fine too. Okay, and then just, um, so get it all the way on there. If it's not on the top, just stretch it a little bit more. And then this check mark up top, when you're using the the tree, the the free transform tool like I was transforming it and um, stretching it, you have to hit okay, this check mark. Okay, so now we have my pattern on here and I wanna see what it looks like on the bed. So I go up to the duvet smart object file and I hit X, it's gonna ask me if I wanna save it and I hit save. Okay, and that's what it looks like. So, I mean, I wouldn't buy this pattern. <laughs> I actually like it um, the way it was, the white one, but I'm just gonna show you how to place it on uh, the pillows as well. Um, I can keep the white on the underside if I want, or I can <coughs> go to this layer, which says duvet back. If I mess around with the eyeball, it, it can show you what it looks like with it off. So I can keep it on there if I think that that looks nice. Um, and let me show you how to put it on the pillows. So there's the pillow, um, the top of the pillow. If you hit the eyeball, it shows you where, where you're going to put your file. Okay, so all you have to do is double click on this thumbnail and it opens up the place where you want to drop your file. I'm going to take the white pattern off and I'm going to click and hit paste and paste in the smart object of my file. And then I'm going to stretch it to fit. <coughs> if you don't want to stretch it, you can make your original file bigger. <laughs> okay, so originally I asked everyone to make a 40 by 40 artboard. You can do like a 60 by 60 so you don't have to stretch your file on this Photoshop mock-up. But to see what this looks like on the pillowcase now, I just come over to the pillow vector smart object and hit X. Be sure to save it. And then it shows you what it looks like on the pillow top. So if I want to get the underside, I come over here to this icon and see, well, that's the other pillow. I mess with this eyeball and see, okay, that's the underside. So if I want to put the pattern there, double click on the smart nail, uh, the smart object, and then take off the eyeball on the pattern I had, and then paste your pattern in. Again, you want to stretch it to fit. You don't have to hit shift with Photoshop now. You used to, but now you do not. And just center your pattern on there. My leaves showed up really, really big. Um, so if you wanted your leaves, your pattern smaller, again, you just, you just make them smaller on your original repeat pattern. Okay, and go up to the pillow vector smart object and hit X. It's save and it shows you what it looks like on the underside. And so you just repeat the same, finding the thumbnail of the other pillow. Double click, take the eyeball off of the, the sample that sometimes they have a sample there in the file. And so when I give you this file, you'll see my pattern on there. You take mine off by taking the eyeball off. Make sure you hit check when you want it to drop your pattern in and then X out of the pillow smart object file and hit save and then you've got it on the other pillow as well. Now I want to put it on the back of the pillow. And so I've checked out my repeat pattern in Adobe Illustrator. So it's good to go. It could actually, you know, I could make a roll. I could order a roll of fabric if I wanted to. But to see what it actually looks like on an intended product, these are fun to show it off. And so if you were to create a fabric for sale and have it for sale on a digital um, product website like Creative Market, this might be your mock-up to show off your fabric. And then you would have your file that you, you sell the pattern or you 
you custom order fabric for someone. Just depends on what you end up doing, but you would save your your repeat pattern here in Adobe Illustrator, and then you show it off in Photoshop. And so that's how we're gonna use this file to show off some bedding patterns. And you can do fun stuff. If you look at the layers that um, this artist has made, you can actually change the color of the blanket that's over, um, over here. So the way that you can change the blanket is um, these are just fun things that you can do in Photoshop. You double click and you can come over here and, um, you know, select a color. So if I want to put a gray blanket, I can um, keep it white. I just hit cancel if I change my mind. When I take the eye off, it actually makes it a, a nice gray color. Um, it may be clashing a little bit with um, this particular pattern, but it looked nice with the white one. Um, <clears throat> the lampshades, you can make those a color as well. So um, those are called um, lamps. I took the eyeball off just to give them a shade of gray. And then the wall, you can change the wall color too. I actually put a, a hint of gray on the wall. And so this is all done right here in the layers panel. It's really the only panel that you have to go to. And then you, you um, copy and paste your files into um, the thumbnail. So just review the video. If you get stuck, it should um, should walk you through it exactly how you need to to show off your, your repeat pattern here on some bedding. All right, can't wait to see what you do. Thanks for watching.